Good morning beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello, welcome. My name's Chantel and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how I achieved this eye look. Um, for those of you who don't know, over the past few weeks I've been going through um, the I Heart Revolution Disney series and every week I've been doing a look using each one of the palettes. I believe there are nine palettes in total and this week is the Sleeping Beauty palette. It looks like this right so if you want to see exactly how I achieved this look then please do keep watching so as you can see I've primed my eyes using the ultimate eye base I think from revolution and I've started off by going into that purple color and I'm putting it on the outer V's and through to my crease but as you can see it's hardly showing up it's like not even there and I've tried I try over and over again to get it to show up but it doesn't so I decided to then try and go into that blue I had already put a little bit down just to see what it would look like and mix it in with the purple so that it gave this kind of lilac color um, the blue is a shimmer but it wasn't shimmer heavy so I managed to use it without it looking really shimmery in the, um, the crease. I then take another brush and go in with that pink colour just to blend out that blue and purple mix and to just give it a little bit of dimension and although it doesn't show up really well mixing all together it just gave this this kind of ombre effect which was really nice. So I continue to keep going through all the colours and mixing them together um, until I got the perfect ombre look that I was looking for. Um, all colours and products that I use will be listed down below in the description box. So um, if I don't say what colour, it will definitely be down below. So going into that baby blue shimmer, I put that all over my lids. As you can see, there's a little bit already on my lid. I wanted to quickly see what it would look like with the lilac to see if it would go together before making my final decision. And I really liked the way that it looked. So I then went in and put it all over both lids. Um, I believe after I used my finger because that was the best way to get it like the foundation put down I then went over it using a brush just to make sure that there was no gaps and everything was laid perfectly yeah so I used the brush in the end just to make sure that there was an even distribution everywhere over the eyelids I then go into the you know the old purple and blue shades just to make sure that everything is blended together and that there's no harsh lines and that I haven't lost the lilac colour that I created before. Once I'm happy I then use another brush and go into that dark blackish shimmer shade and right where the lilac finishes and the blue shimmer shade start I put a little bit there just to transition transition even the two shades together and to like darken it a little bit just to give it yet another dimension all right I decided to line my eyes using the Natasha Denona black eyeliner this has to be my favorite eyeliner I don't do anything too crazy not a large wing um, just a small line and a little wing on the end just to bring it all together and then I believe it's lash time. For this look I decided to go in with my Dull Beauty Eva lashes and then going in with my Duo Clear Eyelash Glue um, I used the brush and I put it straight onto um, that eyeliner I'm not sure if everyone does it like this or even if it's the best way to do it but I just find it easier just to put it on like an eyeliner and then I just place the lash exactly where I want it afterwards 
So after trimming the lashes, I then just use my fingers and place it exactly where I want it. It is so much easier to do it this way. Um, yeah, so the glue is already tacky and then I place the base down first and then put the body down afterwards and then just kind of pinch it together with my eyelashes. After putting on my lashes, I then go and finish the rest of my base makeup including highlight and contouring and then I'm ready for the next step. Next, I'm going to take my MAC black eyeliner and put it all over the waterline. Um, before smudging that out with the lilac shade that I used before um, the first shade that I put down on my eyes because there isn't many dark colors in the palette I decided to put this black down first and while it's still kind of wettish even though it's an eye pencil it is a little bit tacky I can use the brush to smoke it out to give me that dark under eye look Right, so there's me going into that first purple shade like I said and then I use that just to smoke out that black eyeliner um, that I put down and it really does work a treat. Once that MAC eyeliner has completely dried, it doesn't smudge and it doesn't budge and it stays there all day. This is why I always continuously use that MAC eyeliner. I have no faults with it. I then decided to go back into that pink shade after putting that purple down just to smoke out that purple a little bit and to follow the trend like I did on the eyelids down below. I then decided to go into that light pink shimmer shade and put that in as my inner corner highlight. I can't forget about the inner corner highlight and I think this light pink going from the inner corners and then the pink and the lilac around the eyes it just tied everything in together beautifully so finally going into the face part of this palette i go into that middle blush shade which is so pigmented um and yeah i put that all over my cheeks and blend it out a little bit as that's the one thing i can't fault with these palettes the blushes are really pigmented so going into the highlighter part, I go into that middle shade and then I put it on the tip of my nose. Again, this highlighter was really pigmented and then the, a little bit on the bridge of my nose as you're going to see. And then I believe I put a little bit on my Cupid's bow. That's about it. I don't really put highlighter anywhere else. I then wanted to show you that I'm using the lipstick by NYX Teddy Berry. I believe my lips was lined with a dull beauty liner. And then just to finish it all off, I'm going to use my, my MAC Fix Plus spray just to set and lock everything in place. And then I'm done. Right guys, so as you can see, this is the finished look. Um, as per usual, I thought I would jump back on and give you my final thoughts on the look as well as the palette. All right, so starting off with the look, um, I do like the way this look has turned out. It's not one of my favourites. These aren't, this isn't the kind of eye look that I would naturally be drawn to. And if I'm honest with you, when I started the video, I was this close to giving up. Um, I just didn't like the way it looked, but I persevered. I went through and it's not that bad. I think I managed to get away with it. All right, so please drop your thoughts down below you know what you think about this look if you like it what you don't like about it what i could have done different that sort of thing i'm really interested to know right now moving on to the palette i really didn't like the palette i think it was the color story not many of the colors go together i mean take these three reds there was no need for them three shades of reds to be in there yes you can see that they are different but on the eyes they probably wouldn't work out much different i mean because they are so close so similar they've only put two kind of light greens in there there's not enough dark colors in the palette they could have mixed it up a bit i mean look they've got this light this light this light like apart from this these two are really similar shades as well yeah so i wasn't really impressed the palette was crumbly i mean i did struggle with the pigmentation of it showing up but i managed to um, pull it off love the blushes no problem with the blushes again this color and this color is slightly similar so they could have put a different shade in i love the fact that they've gone with 
three complete different tones of highlighter i believe i use this one so overall i'm not really that much of a fan like i say i do like this eye look would i be reaching for this palette again most probably not if i had to do over would i buy it again yes only because i wanted the whole collection not because i particularly like this palette so unless you're looking like for a collection um piece then yeah this is perfect but you know in saying that i mean if you have a lighter skin tone this might work out a lot better for you if you are of a lighter skin tone and you have used this palette please feel free to drop a comment below how you found working with it um if you had any problems like i did i'm not sure if you could see in the video that i was finding it difficult to kind of blend the colors together and i was kind of just mix and matching it was really difficult working with this palette but i managed to pull something off it's not the best that i've done but i do believe it's passable um just to show you yeah so if you made it this far into the video thank you for watching i really do appreciate you if i could ask you to please hit the subscribe button below if you haven't already done so and then click on the little notification bell beside it and then click all so you never miss another upload from me and while you're down there if i could ask you to please hit the thumbs up button it really does help me and my channel out and i really do appreciate it right guys once again thank you for watching until next time have a beautifully blessed day and i'll see you again soon bye for now